Good day, everybody. Hi, I'm Scott Stanton, the original Tombstone Tourist, and we're coming from my recording studio in Boston, Massachusetts, mainly because it's 13 degrees outside, and we're about 3,000 miles away from our latest well wait. This doesn't even look like a cemetery. Actually, you are correct. This is the observatory of Camille Flammarion, famous um, astronomer uh, from Paris, France, actually in the town of Gervosé, Sauvage, which is about 22 kilometers south of Paris. Now, we are here because he is the most famous astronomer ever. And does that not excite you? Okay, well, he was also an astrologist. Oh, that doesn't thrill you either? Okay, how about this? He was like one of the original Ghostbusters. He believed in paranormal activity. He wrote a book about... Uh, haunted houses, spent 60 years investigating paranormal. He was like a regular Dr. Venkman from Ghostbusters. So if that doesn't excite you, nothing will. So we're looking at his house right now and you can see the observatory at the very top. He purchased this around 1880 and did uh, a lot of renovations and whatnot. And you can see he had his telescope at the very top and you can, this is a really, really popular tourist attraction. Now we're going through the grounds and today's video is brought to you by my great friend Maude Carrard from Paris, France. Uh, you've seen a lot of her work in her pictures and some of my other uh, postings. And we are walking through the gardens. And what we're looking for as we go out is uh, the final resting place of Camille and his lovely wife, Gabrielle. Uh, she was also a noticed, noted astronomer, and she left this entire estate to the uh, Society of, for Astronomy in France. Now, what we're looking for as we're going through these hedges is a stairway that leads to nowhere. And we should be coming up upon it here. There, it looks like we're near it. And uh, what we do is when we find that stairwell, you turn to the right and you make your way to his grave. Now, he is buried there with his uh, lovely wife, Gabrielle, as I said earlier. And interesting to note, his brother was Ernst Flammarion. And he was the founder of Group Flammarion, the fourth largest publishing house today in France. So with that, I'm going to let Mode take it away and show you around the tomb here. Again, hi, I'm Scott Stanton, the original Tombstone Tourist, coming to you from Gervosé, Sarage, just outside Paris, France at the Gabriel, uh, Camille Flammarion Observatory. Have a great day. Bye now.